guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my seven week pregnancy update. Today I am actually eight weeks pregnant, so I am going to catch you guys up on last week and all of the symptoms and new things that went on. I actually got two ultrasounds last week, which one of them was not planned and I will get to all of that. So for those of you that are new to my channel, this is my rainbow baby. I did unfortunately go through two miscarriages in 2008. 2018 and this is my third pregnancy in the last like five months um, which is crazy to think about in that way but everything's going really good uh, we have seen baby several times already on ultrasounds and heart is beating away baby is growing perfectly and everything is going so so good so we are remaining hopeful that everything will go our way this time and we will have a healthy baby this August. So I'm going to start this update off with reading you guys some of the facts for week 7 from the app that I use to track my pregnancy so I will be looking down at my phone a lot um, and the app I use is called Pregnancy Plus. I highly recommend it. The pictures are just so vivid and real looking. You can see what baby looks like week per week on a 2D ultrasound image. You can also see 3D images and the information that the information that they give you is just the best information in my opinion out of other apps that I've used in the past. So for week 7, baby is the size of a blueberry and it says your blueberry sized baby is growing rapidly. The brain is developing particularly fast, making your baby's head much larger in proportion to the rest of the body. As the brain and head continue to develop, so do the eyes and ears, and the inner ear takes shape and the eyelids begin to develop. Um, it also says that belly that you will eventually be tickling is beginning to take shape and inside it your baby's kidneys are starting to develop. We can't see it yet, but the color of your baby's eyes is determined at the moment the sperm fertilize your, fertilizes your egg, which is so cool. Thanks to those good old chromosomes, internally more of your baby's organs are forming with a tiny digestive system beginning to link up with the mouth. And it goes on to tell you some facts about your body, it tells you some health and tips, it tells you information for your partner, and it also tells you if you're having like a twin or multiple pregnancy, some information about that, so super cool. And this is what baby looks like according to the 3D image on Pregnancy Plus for week 7. Hopefully that'll focus. So still kind of looking like a bit of an alien, but getting there, getting more and more like a baby. So now I'm going to go on to how I've been feeling and all of the notes that I've taken for week 7. So this week I've kind of had some cravings. I've really wanted cold fruit because I haven't been feeling very well. Um, the nausea has really been an almost everyday occurrence and I've always craved cold fruit whenever I've been sick in the past. It just sets really well, it tastes good, and yeah, so I've been craving cold fruit, like grapes, apples, blueberries, stuff like that. Um, I've also craved, within the last couple of days, crackers with cream cheese. I love the Philadelphia Garden Vegetable Cream Cheese. Oh my gosh, that has been a definite craving. And ginger ale. I started drinking ginger ale when my morning sickness started. Um maybe like a cup every day to every other day and now I'm I'm craving it and even like when we go out to eat at restaurants I'm asking for ginger ale because it just sounds so good. So I have not had any weight gain this week. I actually lost a pound and a half and that is because my morning sickness started this week and I just haven't had much of an appetite. Nothing sounds good to me. So I have been eating. I try to eat um you know whenever I do have a little bit of an appetite I try to eat like a healthy snack at least. I'm not big on actual meals right now because a lot on my stomach doesn't settle well, but I have been eating as much as I can. Um, now I want to talk about some symptoms that I've had up until now throughout this pregnancy that I totally forgot to mention to you guys last week, and one of them is occasional dizziness. So this really hasn't been going on in week 7, but it was going on weeks 4 through 6, and I wanted to bring that up because I totally forgot last week. So occasional dizziness, dizziness was one. I have little pimples 
break out all over my chest and a little bit on the back of my shoulders. Um, and I still have that. It's just not going away. I even use like acne face wash and it, it is safe. I've already checked with the um, salicylic acid. It's like 2% and I already asked my doctor and he said it was safe to use. Um, but even that like isn't clearing it up as much as I would like. I also had, I've also had frequent heart palpitations. So I will get into that, but that has actually kind of calmed down, which I'm very glad to um, see. But I think this started around maybe the beginning of week six, maybe even the end of week five. I started having crazy heart palpitations, like more than I could count every single day, all throughout the day. Now I do have a history of high blood pressure. In the past, I don't. I also have a history of um, heart palpitations. I have an irregular heartbeat, so this isn't anything new. But it's nothing that has been an issue for me for years. So it's definitely something that came back temporarily. Um, I discussed it with my doctor, and he has actually diagnosed me based on my past medical history with chronic hypertension with no meds. So what that means, um, as far as he told me, was. I, you know, occasionally my blood pressure does get a little high, and it's mostly the bottom number, not so much the top, and um, so he did diagnose me with chronic hypertension, which is just like occasional high blood pressure, and he said, what is everything that he told me? Did I write it down? Because I'm going to forget. So I will be on baby aspirin once I am 12 weeks pregnant, I'm assuming for the rest of my pregnancy. And that, I'm pretty sure, helps with, like, heart functioning. So he did say he wanted to put me on baby aspirin once I am 12 weeks pregnant. I will also be coming in at least once a month throughout my entire pregnancy to check on baby's growth. Because hypertension can affect baby's growth, um, because mine is pretty minor. We're hoping and praying that it doesn't. But just to monitor that, I won't go more than a month without an ultrasound. And I also will not go past my due date. So if I do not go into labor by August 27th, I will be induced that day. Um, just because I guess hypertension can be dangerous when you're past due. So that is basically what that means for me. I'm not too concerned with it because the palpitations have really kind of stopped. Um, they're not near as bad as they were this time a week to a week and a half ago. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about symptoms day by day because I do log how I'm feeling pretty much every single day. So on seven weeks, I threw up for the very first time. Um, as soon as I woke up in the morning, I had to run to the bathroom and I was sick and I was also very tired that day. The next day, I threw up again as soon as I woke up. I was very nauseous all day. Nothing sounded good to eat. I was tired. And I had another ultrasound that day. Baby looked perfect. Heart is still beating fast. And that is when I talked to my doctor about my blood pressure um, past and the palpitations and stuff like that. Let me show you real quick the ultrasound from that day because so far it's my favorite ultrasound that we've gotten because you can see the form of the baby. Like you can see the head. You can see the trunk of the body. Ugh, it's just so surreal. Oh. There it goes, I think it's focusing. But you can see this is where the head is and then still in like a C shape at this point. And I was measuring, where is it? Seven weeks, zero days. So I was technically seven weeks, um, one day, but that's totally normal to measure like a day or two off because it's only like a tiny bit of difference. So the next day, seven weeks, two days, I was feeling better that day and I was actually able to eat three meals that day. And I remember having like a lot more energy that day because I was able to eat so much more than I was days prior. I'm still really out of breath. <laughs> That's still going on by the way. <laughs> seven weeks, three days, I was extremely tired all day. I did not get enough sleep that night. So our black lab actually just had surgery on his knee and he is like living in our bedroom because the bedrooms are the only parts of our house that are carpeted and he can't be on tile. And that was the first night that we had him home since surgery and he was like in so much pain and wearing one of those plastic cones around his head. And so he kept us up all night. 
I think I got four hours of sleep that night. So I was like a zombie this day. I don't even think I got out of bed hardly at all. Um, seven weeks, four days. This is when I started noticing my palpitations had pretty much gone away over the last two days. I also had less nausea. So because those two symptoms like pretty much up and vanished, I started getting nervous. Um, I am, I do have a history of loss. So being pregnant after loss is so different than being pregnant before experiencing a loss because I've experienced both and this pregnancy is so much different with my symptoms and emotionally how I'm feeling. Um, so when you start to notice any little thing that's different, it gets in your head. So I, what I did was I contacted my doctor and I just let him know what was going on. I was not expecting him to tell me to come in. I was just kind of needing like reassurance from him that everything was fine and um, the symptoms will come and go. But he said, you know what, why don't you just go ahead and come in, we'll do another ultrasound. Um, just to make sure everything's okay with baby and to ease your mind. So that's what I did. I went in and got another ultrasound and baby was still measuring perfectly on track. Heartbeat was still perfect. And that's when I talked with my doctor about um, being diagnosed with chronic hypertension and the plan for all of that. And like I said, I did get another ultrasound that day. Um, you can't really see the form of baby too well. I think he or she was kind of like, I don't know, squished up. You can't even like make shape of which part's the head and which part's the bottom. But baby was measuring at seven weeks and four days, which is what I was. So I'm measuring perfectly, but I will go ahead and show you guys um, just to show you the growth. But I have no idea which end is what because it's like in a little ball. But definitely grew. That was only um, three days since my last ultrasound and there was definitely some growth. So seven weeks, five days. I was extremely nauseous in the morning. I felt super bloated all day. That was one of the first days that I felt really, really bloated and like my jeans were uncomfortable. Um, we also took our announcement pictures that day. That was so much fun. I'm gonna link the video up here of our pregnancy announcement video um, because I show you guys all of my favorite pictures from that shoot and they just came out so good and we just look so happy and I just love them. So if you guys want to check those out, watch that video. It's our pregnancy announcement video and I show you guys those pictures. And also if you follow me on Instagram, I post them on there as well. Um, this day I also had sensitivity to smells. So this is hilarious, okay? You guys know when you're pregnant, like certain smells just make you want to run to the bathroom. So the day before this, my husband um, went to Publix and got a Publix sub with, and it had onions on it. I don't know what it was about these onions because I love onions. I don't mind the smell. I don't mind the taste. I love them. But I literally, this day, I remember him coming in um, to the bedroom when I was still in bed, like mid-morning, to give me a kiss. And I literally gagged. <laughs> It's so bad, it sounds horrible. But I literally want, like, was about to gag because I could smell the onions on his breath from the day before. And he had brushed his teeth twice since then. He brushed them that night and then that next morning. And I was like, oh my God, I can smell the onions on your breath. And he's like, what are you talking about? I haven't had onions since yesterday afternoon. That is how much my sense of smell is heightened. And yeah, that. Ugh, I just, it, it was so weird, and I felt so bad, because he was, like, trying to be sweet and give me a kiss, and I was, like, gagging in his face. <laughs> um, seven weeks, six days, which was yesterday, I had a lot of breast tenderness. This is, like, one of the first times I've noticed um, breast tenderness this pregnancy. And then, this was horrible, you guys. I had pizza for dinner. Frozen pizza, okay. Because I was feeling good, I wasn't that nauseous, and... Um, I didn't get anything out to thaw because I wasn't feeling too good that morning, but I was like, you know what, let's just have a frozen pizza. Sounded good, tasted good. Horrible idea. Horrible idea. Oh my gosh, last night was awful. Um, so my first pregnancy, I had really bad gas pains, and I had asked my doctor, like, what can I take? Like, I don't like to take medicine when I'm pregnant. It freaks me out, but I had to. And they told me at that time, you can take Gas-X. It's safe while pregnant. Um, 
so I knew that this time and so starting at like I want to say like 8 p.m. we were watching a movie and I started getting really uncomfortable painful gas pains and I was just trying to ignore it and like chug water wasn't going away I was like okay I I can't take this like I have to take a gas X so I took one you can take two but I just took one because I'm paranoid it literally did nothing like it might have helped for 30 minutes or so but it, it was just so uncomfortable the gas pains were just like so sharp and I could feel my stomach tightening up and my stomach was making all these noises like I just knew the pizza was not sitting well so we tried to go to bed at like 10 10 30 and I think it was around 11 o'clock I was like my stomach was in so much pain I just ran to the bathroom and I'm like I'm just gonna sit in here until something happens and you guys like this this is gonna get TMI whatever it's a pregnancy update that's just how it is but I was like sitting on the toilet and I don't think this is probably one of the times I've been in the most pain in my entire life um, I say gas pains but like that doesn't even it doesn't even describe how painful it is I was sweating I was holding on to the tub I was about to cry at one point they hurt so bad I thought I was gonna pass out um, I thought I was gonna throw up they hurt so bad it was just so painful and it actually started to scare me I was like this can't be good like why does it hurt this bad and then I had to go to the bathroom a lot and then I started to feel better and I went to bed um, today my stomach is still kind of eh like I'm not feeling 100% but I'm definitely feeling a lot better than I did last night but that was intense like let me know in the comments if any of you have experienced this in pregnancy especially like in your first trimester because that and I actually called my doctor this morning um, just to see if just to make sure that that was normal and I didn't have anything to worry about which I pretty much already knew I didn't um, but I, you know sometimes you just need to hear them say it and the nurse that I talked to she was like no you're fine you were fine to take gas sex and she's like you know we know that your pregnancy is in your uterus and baby's looking good so we're not really concerned um, about the pain like nothing that shouldn't affect baby in any way and she told me like you know if I needed to I could take a modium um, and stuff like that and she told me like a couple other medicines that are safe to take but like I said I'm feeling better today but I will not be eating frozen pizza again for a while <laughs> okay so now I'm going to do an Ava bracelet update I completely forgot to do this in my last update when I was uh, did the four to six four to six week um, pregnancy update so from here on out as long as I remember I will do an Ava bracelet update for you guys if you're new um, I have worn the Ava bracelet since April of 2018 was when I started wearing it and I wore it um, from then until we conceived all three times we conceived I wore Ava and it basically tracks your fertile window and your cycle it predicts when you're going to start your period it predicts when you're going to ovulate and it tracks um, five parameters let's see if I can remember them resting pulse width resting pulse rate breathing rate skin temperature HRV level and your sleep duration so it tracks all five of those every single night and also when you become pregnant you can continue to wear it it'll still track all of those and it will tell you week by week what baby is doing kind of similar to like pregnancy apps it'll tell you like what baby looks like how a big baby is um, how you should be feeling some symptoms you might be experiencing and stuff like that so I am continuing to wear Ava if you guys are interested in the Ava bracelet I always have a link down below in the description and it is a code to get you $20 off of the Ava bracelet, which is a really good deal. I really do recommend it. Um, if you have a pretty regular cycle, you may not necessarily think you need Ava. But I just think it's so cool that it tracks everything that my body is doing while I'm sleeping, especially while I'm pregnant. I like to make sure that everything's looking good. And I like to go over the results um, with my doctor to make sure that he is liking everything that my body is doing as well. So I will go ahead and put a screenshot right here of what my levels look like. I think it puts weeks like 5 through 8 together. So it won't just be week, week 7. It'll be like a few weeks put together. So as you guys can see, my resting pulse rate has leveled off after dropping about 12 beats per minute since week 5. So it was kind of high and then it started to go down. 
Um, and I believe, yeah, my skin temperature and my breathing rate have also started to level off after slightly dropping after week five. So after week five, those three levels started going down. Now, I have discussed this with my doctor. He says that's normal. I'm also in a Facebook group for, um, the like an Ava Facebook group specifically for women that are pregnant. And a lot of them said it's because your body... Your body is getting used to being pregnant, which is why my levels have started to go down because it's, I guess, getting used to it. So I'm kind of like returning to normal, I guess. Um, so everyone that I have talked to, doctor and other pregnant women, say that it is normal. So I'm not concerned how everything is going down. And that's pretty much all for my Ava bracelet update. I don't really use it to um, look at like how big baby is and everything. I read that stuff, but I'm more, I'm more focused on the Pregnancy Plus app because I just feel like it has more information and more pictures and stuff like that. So, but if you do have the Ava bracelet and you are pregnant, you don't even really need another pregnancy app because it has all of that already in it. So super cool. Now I'm going to do the bump shot for you guys. I still really don't have a bump at all, but I will show you what my stomach looks like. And keep in mind, my stomach has never been flat. So what you're seeing is not a bump. It's just my little bit of chub. So this is my belly from the front, from the side. I am a little bloated today too, so can't really suck it in at all. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching my week seven pregnancy update. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new. There's lots of weeks coming up with updates. I do one every single week, so you won't want to miss them, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!